Hi guys. Welcome to the bed. Welcome to my bed. And Starla, come here stars. Come here. We were we were going to take a nap and I'm just not, I'm not feeling like I need a nap. <laughs> I think I wanna <coughs> just go to bed early. Ooh, sorry guys. <laughs> I think I wanna just go to bed early tonight because um, my husband is actually, he's, unless he changes his mind last minute, but he says he's planning on driving home tonight. So he wasn't going to come home this weekend. And then now he's, early, well, earlier this morning, he was saying he's going to come home. So I don't know what he's going to decide, but if he does come home, then he'll be home around midnight. And so I figured um, I want to sleep, fall asleep a little bit early so that when he comes home, I can be up for, for a little bit with him and then go to sleep and then... I'll be up enough time to make us a quick breakfast and then I gotta head out to work unfortunately but I was like I said I wasn't planning on him coming home <laughs> this weekend so I still gotta go to work um and then yeah so I used a different size barrel to curl my hair this morning um I had I bought a brand new um curling iron curling hair curling iron thing <laughs> whatever those things are called um it's it's a one and a quarter inch one and one fourth inch is that a quarter oh my god I sound so stupid um but it's it's a it's it's a yeah it's that size of um of a barrel so the you know the width and um Hair smells so good, <laughs> and it's a little bit thicker than what the uh, the one I originally used. The one I originally used, I think, is just a one inch. So, the curls are rather larger, and I feel like my hair is not long enough for the one and one fourth inch um, curling iron. So, I think I'm gonna have to just keep using my one inch um, for curling my hair, or at least um, the top part, like the shorter layers the 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 skinnier one would be better the longer ones I could probably get away with the one and one fourth inch but <laughs> I like my curls to be a little bit more uh voluminous so um so yeah but I was I was messing around with the new curling iron today and um so yeah but you know like how after a while your curls just kind of they drop so that's what happened and now they're just mine are just wavy it's just like large waves so yeah I think I don't think my hair is long enough for it yet so it'll get long eventually my hair just takes forever to grow um so anyways um I did a lot today I <laughs> I did a lot of like housewife stuff today um I cleaned the house a little bit I surface cleaned pretty much I vacuumed um I swept and oh my, I just, I vacuumed, I swept, I, cl I cleaned out the cat litter boxes. I went and did grocery shopping, which was very minimal because I still have some stuff that um, is still good to cook. So that's, a, that's always a nice thing. So kind of today's grocery shopping was more of like, got to get my margarita stuff and got to get, you know, some munchies, some snacks for my husband because he likes to munch when he comes home and um, getting a, th a whole thing of eggs because I was like down to my last egg and I got another thing of strawberries. So all that fun stuff. And then, um, mm, speaking of margarita, I should get a margarita right now. <laughs> um, and then after that, I had breakfast and I went to the 99 cent store. I picked up a couple like little, um, what's it called? Um, Halloween. Oh my God. I can't think right now. I got, I picked up a couple Halloween decorations because I'm going to be doing <clears throat> a little Halloween display at my job for the horror books. So I picked up some stuff for that. And then I went to PetSmart, got the cats, their cat food. Um, so that now they have like a whole bag of cat food and, um, another box of their favorite wet foods. And, um, and then I picked up a, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have this, but, um, we have a pieology which is so delicious. So it's like you build your own pizza and it's just like a personalized flatbread pizza. It's so good. And, um, and so I picked one of those up for lunch and they have these really bomb ass lemonades. So they have like a, it's mint and, um, 
mint and it's just like minty lemon lemonade but it's so good mint and cucumber that's what it is um and so i had a lemonade to go with it and i just wish they had like larger cups for the lemonades because <laughs> i just i love it so much um and so i had that and yeah i've just been like i finished eating and then i was watching um netflix for a little bit and um I was like, oh, I should go down for a nap. And I'm just laying here and I'm like, I haven't even filmed my day, my daily video yet. So I was like, I need to just hurry up and put one out. <laughs> I need to put one out. So today's um, video diary is going to be really short. It's not going to be anything fancy or anything like that. Um, it's just going to be this. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be diving into some client video readings after this. So um, yeah, I need to... I need to get going with that. Um, <clears throat> what else? The weather's been cooling down a lot, you guys. Um, yesterday, I put on my first sweater of the year, like of the end of the year. <laughs> um, a little crew neck sweater, so that was kind of nice. And it's just been cooling down the house. Um, the, like, the air conditioning didn't turn on until like, this afternoon the house has been cool like my house is really insulated it's really it's insulated pretty good I think they I think they do that for a reason up here in the desert because it gets pretty hot um but when it gets cold it gets cold so I've I've been learning that about like my desert dwelling place um that it's either really hot or it's really cold um and it's windy <laughs> so we do get a lot of wind it's 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 more windy up here than it is um in the suburbs where I used to live um, but yeah, it's either like really, really hot or really, really cold. You kind of just have like the extremes <laughs> up here and then it rains every once in a while, which was pretty crazy. Um, but it's just gorgeous weather. It's gorgeous weather up here. Like the, the sky is always so clear. Um, and then when it is cloudy, it's really beautiful. It's just a different world up in the desert <laughs> and our elevation were are were much higher um than you know where my my parents live so it's just different it's just so different and the air itself is clean you just re I really feel the difference in the air um when I'm up here for like four days straight and then when I go back down the hill for work it's like I really feel this I could see the smog I can like you really see the difference <laughs> in the air quality. So I've been really enjoying the fresh air up here. And then, of course, the sky is gorgeous. The, the sunsets are beautiful up here. Um, so it's not all that bad living in the desert. As Although, like, if I could have it my way, I would probably be living, like, off the coast, you know, by the ocean. But it's too expensive. <laughs> So anyways, um, what else? What else? What else? I don't know. I really need to do like a massive cleaning of my tarot room, you guys. Um, I want to reorganize the decks and stuff. I feel like I just, I should just leave, bleh, I feel like I should leave everything alone though, at least through, um, this Halloween season. And then once that's done and then I put my dark decks back on the shelves, like I kind of just want to reorganize everything. Um, I want to go through a lot of my stuff, not so much my decks, like my decks, I'm all happy. I'm happy with pretty much everything that I own. There really isn't anything that I want to let go of. Um, but I do want to go through like my crystals and stuff and, and either figure out a different way of, like organizing them or um start going through some crystals that I don't need anymore um and that I feel would be you know rehomed or something <laughs> so maybe I'll do a massive like cleaning of that but I don't know we'll see we'll see what I choose to do um oh excuse me I have the hiccups from eating my pizza <laughs> I'm not wearing any face makeup and oh that's what I also want to talk about because someone, one of you guys asked me how my eczema is doing. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I um, broke out my, I had an eczema patch here under my nose, which is still there, but it's not, it's not as bad. <laughs> it's not as bad as it was. Um, it's just really itchy in the mornings. But after I put some, I put some like coconut, um, one of you guys told me to put some coconut oil, like the 
coconut butter or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> so I put some on there. Um, and then I put some here in the corner. So as you could see, like, you can't tell. I mean, it looks a little bit dark, but it's not, it's not, it's nowhere near as bad as it was. So this is like, it's somewhat a little bit dry, but it's not anything like it was before. So I'm really glad. <laughs> um, I wish that it was cleared up by the time, you know, my husband had his, has his, um, his graduation, but I've learned to, when I put my foundation on my skin, um, I leave the patch open here. So I don't put any foundation like in this corner part of my eye. And then I leave a little patch right here. <laughs> so I'll put some foundation like uh, above my lip, but I kind of leave like this section of my nose open <laughs> so that um, the makeup doesn't irritate the skin and all of that. Um, the foundation I use, I use Neutrogena's brand um, foundation and I find that it's really good for my skin. I have, obviously I have really sensitive skin. Um, but I have been using the Neutrogena foundation probably for a good five years now. Um, I found my shade, which is number 60. So if you guys are like, you know, curious, like I have pretty olive tone skin, I would say like, I have like an undertone of, um, I think I have like an undertone of like yellow, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how, I don't really know how that works, but <laughs> I have, um, I have like lightish light skin, like lighter skin, but, um, it's like an olive tone kind of, I don't know, yellow tone. I don't know, <laughs> but, um, the Neutrogena foundation in like the little, the jars with the silver top number 60. That's, that's the, um, the shade that I, it's, I don't even know. I think it's like something beige sandy beige I don't know but um I just know it's number 60 so um when I go you know to the drugstore and I <laughs> buy makeup like it's easy for me to just pick up my foundation because I know which one it is so um it's a little pricey I, I think that the jar is like 11 or 12 dollars depending on where you go but um it works. It works for me. I've been using it and I just, I'm happy with the foundation. It doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't dry me out. It doesn't break me out. I do break out. Like I get my like peer, my pimple here and I usually get a pimple up here <laughs> and sometimes on my cheek when I'm about to start my period. But other than that, um, my, the foundation doesn't mess me up. So, um, yeah, I, I just, I love makeup, but I like to give my face a break from makeup um, and it's usually like my days off. So like today I figured, um, you know, I'll just put on a little bit of eyebrow <laughs> and my mascara. Usually like eyebrows and mascara are, is the top things that I wear all the time. Um, but if I'm really getting, you know, fancy, fancy, then I'll put on my foundation and all that other good stuff. Hi, my Luna. Hi, my baby girl. <laughs> They're playing right now. Be nice. Starla. She looks like she wants to attack Luna. So the girls, the girls, the baby girls, my cats, um, la gatas, they've been getting along. Um, <laughs> getting along. <laughs> They're not like trying to kill each other or anything. Um, we had a little bit of a, of a little accident. She's just, she just wants to get away from Starla. So, um, this was Luna's cat tree when she was a baby and I, uh, uh, be nice, Starla. Starla's going to go up there and she wants, she's like, I want to play. And then I picked up that, I don't know if you guys can see it, that cat tree. <laughs> um, and so I wanted two cat trees here in the bedroom so that, you know, they can each have their own and they're not fighting over it. But of course, if Luna's in one, Starla wants to be in the same one. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Like sometimes I'll walk into the bedroom and they're both laying in either the, you know, their own cat trees. But sometimes it's like Starla wants to be with Luna. So Starla's the annoying little baby sister that wants to be, that wants to do everything that Luna does. So there you go. See, she's in her cat tree, and then my baby girl is in hers. 
So, um, but other than that, the cats are getting along. They eat together. So I feed them um, their wet foods in the morning and then in the evening. And they eat together. So their bowls are together. Their water is together. They So they eat. They have three litter boxes. So I, those are like the gigantic size, <laughs> the, like the biggest size litter box I think I could find. Um, so I have three litter boxes for the cats. I have one in our bedroom. And then I have I have two other empty bedrooms, so I have one in one and one bedroom, and then the, the other one in the other bedroom. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is when I leave for Sacramento, um, and my friend is gonna be watching the house. He's, <laughs> I told him there's three cat boxes that I need you to scoop out. And he's like, why do you need three cat boxes? You only have two cats. I go, cause there's the community box, and then there's like their own boxes. And it's kind of funny. I don't know if you guys notice this about your cats, but this is like the poop box. I wish the poop box was in one of the rooms that I'm not in all the time, but the poop box is this one. Um, and, <laughs> and then there's a box in one of the bedrooms that I only scoop out pee, like pee clumps. And then the other litter box usually has like a mixture of everything. And I noticed that Starla poops for the most part, she'll poop in this one too, but she only likes to poop in the one of the only one of the bedrooms. Luna will poop in this one, um, and then they both pee in the other box. So it's kind of funny how <laughs> how they designate their litter boxes like that. I love it though. I think it's I think it's cute, but um, I don't know if you guys I don't know what you guys feed your cats. I I've been feeding my cats blue buffalo dry food forever. Some people do the raw diet. I would love to be able to do that. Maybe when I'm not working anymore, <laughs> one of these days, no, like sometime next year, um, when I become more of a, uh, you know, full-time tarot reader, um, but then I'll have a little bit more time to like, you know, do the whole raw diet for the cats, but I don't know. I don't even know if I want to go through all that. Um, maybe a semi raw diet with still some dry food. I don't know, but I've been feeding the cats, um, blue Buffalo. So they have blue Buffalo. I give them, you know, a scoop of blue Buffalo in each of their bowls. And then they get two portions, um, two half portions. So it's like one portion <laughs> of, um, the Sheba wet foods in the, the cuts. They, Luna does not like the pâtés. She likes the cuts. So I have to make sure I buy the cuts. Um, and in the seafood flavors, because Luna doesn't like turkey. She's fucking picky. She's this this girl. Luna, you're picky, huh, baby girl? Yeah, she's picky. Um, so that's what I feed the cats. And I have found, because when Luna was first um, a kitten, when she was a younger kitten, huh, baby girl? Um, her poops were stinky, stinky when I was feeding her, like, I think it was meow mix. Um, so I was like feeding her cheap brand food and I, her poops were disgusting, like smelly. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to just start paying for a little bit more and feeding her something a bit, a better brand. And <laughs> I don't know, I've always heard good things about blue Buffalo. And, um, so I started feeding her blue Buffalo. She loves it. And she, I have noticed her poopies, her poops smell like when she poops. And then after she like covers or she buries her, her cat poop, you can't smell it anymore. Um, and same thing with Starla. So I feel like it's like what you feed your cats. Um, it really helps with, with, I can't believe I'm talking about cat poop, but I feel like like with what you feed your cats, it really helps them. Um, like it helps their digestive system for one thing, but also like the smell of their poop is so different. So, um, the wet foods, yeah, they can get a little stinky, but, um, I don't know. The cats are, they're healthy. They're healthy cats and they, they drink a lot of water. So I have to, um, make sure I give them water every single morning. And <laughs> I do like, I'll, um, I give them the filtered water, <clears throat> but I always clean their bowl. Like I have to wipe their bowl clean. So I don't know. I'm just weird like that. So they're spoiled cats, <laughs> but, um, yeah. So every morning, fresh water, scoop of dry food, and then they get their wet foods twice a day. So my baby girls are happy and I scoop out. I've been really good. Like I scoop their litter boxes every day, you guys. 
that helps me monitor their um, poopies. So I make sure that they're pooping because I remember when Luna got sick, I was, the doctor wanted me to monitor her poops. Like how much is she pooping? Is it dry poop? Like is it, is she straining when she poops? And so, <laughs> so it just helps when you are on a litter box routine. And if you're cleaning out that litter box every single day, then it's easier for you to keep track of like, how often is your cat peeing? How often is your cat pooping? So Luna poops once a day. Starla tends to poop twice a day, but I think it's because she's still a kitten. So she eats a lot and she has a lot of energy and just like her metabolism is like crazy, I bet you. <laughs> Um, and then the other thing about my beautiful cats is Starla loves to play fetch. Luna doesn't like to play at all. She doesn't play. Um, maybe if I use the, the little laser, she'll play with that. But Starla plays fetch. So I have these little toys that are like these little scrunchy toy ball thingies. But any ball she loves. And if I throw it across the room, she'll run and get it and she brings it back to me. So she's a really... Her, Starla's personality is so different from Luna. Luna is just like, I don't want to be bothered. Don't talk to me. Like Luna has sass. And then Starla is like a little dog. I'm not even kidding. Um, and then Starla also learns how she learned how to take off her collar. So I can't keep it on her. Like she's taken it off four times in the last couple of days. Um, so I gave up. And um, I went, when I went to PetSmart today, I bought her one of the buckle collars. So I don't think she's going to be able to get out of that one. Um, Cause the one I was, that she had before was like those snap collars. <laughs> so we'll see how the buckle collar goes. Um, it's black and it has moon and stars on it. So it's really cute. Um, so that reminds me, I got to put that on her cause she's, real, she's all quiet right now. Like I like the collars for the cats because then I know where they're at, especially Starla cause she's smaller. Um, so when I hear the little bell, I know where they're at. <laughs> so I have to remember to do that, put it, put it on Starla cause she doesn't have her collar on right now. And Starla's also curious. So like if I open the front door, she tries to go out. So I have to make sure I tell my friends to make sure he doesn't leave the front door open because she will go out. Um, she's not afraid of anything. She is like a dog. Starla is like a little dog. It's kind of weird, <laughs> but I love it. Um, so yeah, you guys, I love my cats. I'm happy. I'm so happy. I'm relieved that they get along. Um, cause there was a time where I thought it wasn't going to work. And there was a time when, when Luna got really sick and it, I was just like, she's just not ha herself. She wasn't, she wasn't acting herself and she just looked really upset, um, because of Starla. And so there was a point where I was like, I might have to find a new home for Starla, but Everything works. Everything is working out. They're content. They're both in their little cat trees. <laughs> so it's just, it's good. It makes me happy. It relieves. It's a relief for me to see them getting along. So anyways, you guys, thank you for listening to me talk about my cats. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go start to work on some client readings. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye loves.